What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. And in today's video, we are going to be hopping back in. Let me drop this down real quick. Um, and we're going to be working on our 79 F350 or whatever year, <coughs> whatever year you guys think it is, because I am not sure anymore. I thought it was 79, but it could be earlier, could be a little later. I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, we're working on this bad boy today and we're converting it from like the airport stair lift, which I don't know if you guys have seen this, but literally just stair clamshell on the back um, and we're turning it into a plow truck uh, we fully redid the engine in the last video this is a uh it's a v8 boss motor it's a ford motor of course powered by four on the side it does how many horsepower it's like 300 and something yeah 391 um i think it's actually 381 stock but ours is a little bit higher right now uh, we also did performance in it so we're gonna run it on the dyno when we're done and i'll be able to show you guys probably 800 ish horsepower i'd say somewhere around there um it's not supercharged but still making lots of power uh there we go popping this door open because we're going to be bringing them over to the paint shop in a minute um so first things first we're going to remove this clamshell we don't need that anymore we're going to be slapping a regular bed on the back all right let's weld this there we go. The frame and all the quarter panels looks good again. I kind of digging this this green. It's pretty cool. Uh, we'll fix the interior. There we go. I saw that shift knob. Shift knob went from being all old and rusty, old rusty and crusty to brand new. Okay. So, oh hey, whoa! Didn't take the headlight off. I didn't notice that. You give me the bumper. Give me the fuel tank. What the? Oh, you have to be up in there to do it. All right, it's fine. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, next thing is going to be to do uh, wheels and tires combo, which is going to be these top ones up here. So right now we got the rim basic ones. Um, somebody in the last of one of the other videos said that they liked these top left ones better. If I could find them. I don't remember what it was because it was hard for me to tell. But yeah, um, we'll probably just stick to like some rim. We'll do some retros or something like that. Because the chrome, we already did the chrome in the last one, so maybe the 10Bs. 10Bs might look good. Yeah, the 10Bs are just an inverted version of the Roadrunners, which is what we did from the last ones. So what are these? These are all 315, 70. Okay. So let me write this down. Because this one has an offset of 150. And depending upon what the rear part looks like, which I'm not sure... All right, we'll see here. So we got 315s. I think they're all 315s. One of them is 70, one of them is 75. They're both 16 inches. Okay, and then the rears had an ET, which is like an offset, from the center hub of 150. Yep. Okay. We'll match that exactly, I think. Let me get the bed on real quick, and then we'll I'll line it up to what the fronts are, and then we'll, we'll decide what we want to do. Um, right here. Let's see. Hold on. Let's go to community cars real quick. Tree fitty. Okay. So we got the plow already. Oh, here. I'll slap the plow in real quick just to show you guys. I test fit it in the last video, um, but here it is again. It's just the bumper. Headlight. Okay. Which headlight was that? That was just a regular one, wasn't it? All right. Here. I'm going to pick up the front and right headlight. Okay, and then for our uh, bed, for our clamshell, we got, which ones? That's a camper, box truck, stairs. So there's this one or this one. We're going to try out clamshell E, see if it's special at all. Okay, so this is what E looks like. We will also go and buy the first one just to see if there's any difference at all. Okay, so let's pop this bad boy off. It looks like it was a pretty long bed. I don't know if there is any difference at all, actually. That's a weird, weird thing. Okay. That's all right. Next up, we're going to be doing 
do this one. We'll grab all of our windows real quick. Front right door window, left door window. Actually, I wanted to change the window. Yeah, we need lights on it. That one. Front grill, we're gonna do number one, and then we'll do number one for a bumper. Get our tail lights. There we go. Alright, so after this, all we should have to really do is doors. Oh, dang, what the heck? Hey, there we go. That actually fits in. It's so weird. It's like a box truck setup, or it's that one weird setup, so it wants to be way, way back here. Okay, get the good trunk on. Oh, what are you doing? Alright, let me buy the other trunk. Maybe that'll help. Maybe trunk B will be the correct one. Nope. What the heck? All right, it's fine. We'll just we'll we'll roll it in no trunk. It, for when I sell it off of the trunk on, but nah, we'll leave it off for now. That is weird. Okay, there's that. No, we wanted to do our. Oh, let me rip off this really quick. All right, there we go. Now we can add in the light bar. Throw in these. Dang it. Oh my gosh. I wish Ah, uh, these are all it's all messed up, so I can't roll some of the stuff I want to have on there just because it gets all funky. All right. It's fine. I'll just swap it out for the regular one. Um and now doors, we're just going to do the regular doors just cuz I'm not sure exactly what the difference is and they don't list them very well. The window, mirror, Door, window, mirror. All right, there we go. And then get the hood slapped on here. Just do the same matching color hood. Okay, there we go. Close that. This one should be pretty good. Yeah, it's missing some parts, but it's it's fine. Because it's missing like the trunk and all that stuff. But that stuff's all weird and janky, so it can't really do anything about it. Um, for the rims, though, let's get going on tires and rims. Probably should have done that a minute ago. Yeah, this one takes a little bit of time. So let's do let's do these retro ones. We'll do we'll do four of them. Actually, no, two. Offset of 15. Actually, you just do all of them offsets of 15. I really don't care. It's not that big of a deal. As long as they're not grinding up into the uh, the actual wheel well, we're fine. Uh, widths were 315, so they were pretty thick. Three fitting. And then we'll do... We'll do a 75 profile overall. We'll just, we're just mixing it up just a little bit. Uh, we'll do these ones. Okay. And while we're waiting, let's sell all of our bad parts. Anything below 70. We'll sell our old rims. There we go. Now we finally have got it on a roll. Wheel and wheel bouncing and mounting going. Right, give me this. Install this one. All right, there we go. I wish there's a community map for like snow that we could do. That'd work pretty good. That one, and then we got our last one off, and we're ready to go. Just gotta wait for this one to spin up here <sighs> while we wait. Let me see here. Mm, that's pretty good. All right, and then 
One more. Yep. All right, while we wait, we're going to slap on at least two of these. Yes, it works perfectly. It looks perfect. I'm just looking for it to fill up the wheel well. Not hit anything, but just fill it up. All right. Then once we get this on, we will take this to the paint shop and paint it. We might have to take off some parts just in case it paints those separate. Um, but I'm not sure. We'll find out in a second here. All right, there we go. What are we at now? Pretty close. Gold parts of 96. That's just because we don't have uh, exhaust or fuel done. Let me do that real quick, actually. We'll get it up here on the lift. Okay, let me get this out of here. We'll get the drive shaft in. I already got drive shaft F in. That's like the front uh, driving drive shaft because this is... It is a real-wheel drive boss motor, but it does have all-wheel drive on it. Or four-wheel drive. I mean, not all-wheel drive. Uh, grab this. No, not interior. Let's grab the main shop. Let's grab our fuel tank. And I'm not sure, but we may need fuel filter. Or not fuel filter. Fuel pump out of here. I'll check in just a second. Hey, we already got one. Never mind. Okay, so then we need a V8 rear muffler and then a middle muffler. middle uh, V8 overhead valve muffler it's the rear muffler plus 2% gain in horsepower we'll take her all right there we go I think that's everything oh wait nope 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 starter all right there we go we'll drop it down Send all this stuff back to its rightful spot. Pop this. Get some good old soup oil in there just so we can uh, start this up in a minute when we want to take it to the dyno because should be putting down some power. Okay, so just the global body condition is the only thing that we're having issues on and I just explained that to you guys. So you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, why is the rear window bad? Did it put in the wrong one? It did. Yep. Okay, so there is 85. So that's a little bit better. So all we need is um, front. So we need license plates, pretty much is the only thing, and trunk. So that's the stuff keeping us from our 100% completion. No big deal. Move this bad boy to the paint shop. Get a good old coat of paint on her. Um, let's see here. Paint shop. Paint. So this is what the stock current one looks like um let's see here if we go in here i'm just trying to find the uh ford truck colors so for our color scheme here because i have the color schemes pulled up now um let's do so this one bright so the closest one to this is called bright emerald it's a green it's a little bit darker um, let me get a little bit of a less. Yeah, so this is the color for dark emerald. And we don't want it to be bright. We want it to be li bright emerald is what it's called, not dark emerald. That's about perfect for my view. That color works about, about perfect. So we're going to do that. Mainly because I'm digging the green. Green's pretty cool. All right, there we go. And the plow is not painted or anything. Fantastic. All right, let's do interior. Let's get that bench out of here. We'll just do all this work in the paint paint booth because it's not not that big of a deal. Um, get our cape bench. That's a rear. Get the wheel in there. There we go. Let's move this bad boy to the dyno now. Time to get it moving, to get it testing. That was over here. Hey, look, our door stayed open. Okay. I guess we should probably 
we'll remove the that for now just so we don't have to have it on there because obviously you guys would see the, they would just ruin it but all right here we go dino power let's see what we get 391 let's see what the full built boss motor gets us i'm looking for 400 horsepower gain so i'm looking for 800 but i don't think we'll get it Yeah, but just like I thought, 633 horsepower is what we managed to squeeze out of this uh, single overhead cam boss. And I mean, it is an older, it does have like overhead valves and all that, or overhead cam. Um, so like it's all the valves and everything are up top, are they? It's got rocker arms, I don't remember. Um, let's see here, let's add this back on. There we go. We can just move this bad boy. Back to car entrance. A. Hey, let's take a good look at this thing before we end the episode. So, without taking into account the uh, price we would get for restoration, let's see what we're at now. So, you probably get like a 10,000 restoration bonus if we finished it up. So, we'll probably say that this has the end value of about $50,000. I think this one had a bigger value, didn't it? Let me check. Oh, no. Nowhere near it, actually. 20,000. This one's a hundred percent, except for oh, you're right. Never mind. I forgot to do the uh, suspension on this one, but not bad, not too bad at all. I think I do like these wheels a little bit more. They look a lot beefier on this setup. Um, but hey, if you guys are enjoying these videos, leave a like on it. I would greatly appreciate. It. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything else or any other type of this Ford, because pro it's probably my last F350 video because we've done two in a row now, or four in a row technically, but two cars in a row. Um, but yeah, uh, one day at this, thank you guys all for watching, and I should hopefully see you all in the next uh, Car Mechanic Simulator video.